Hello and welcome to another LEGO Transformer video review. This time around it is LEGO Transformers Dark of the Moon slash Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. So for those of you who are who have been here since the very beginning and were like the first like five people to subscribe to me, you will recognize this as my Revenge of the Fallen Starscream design. It has went through a lot of updates. And this is the fourth version. The third version only ever appearing on the TTV message board, so if you want to see the in-between of this in version two, which was featured in the ROTF-a-thon, which was uh, kind of ruined by my hiatus, but whatever. So yeah. This is uh, the second part of the 20-30 subscriber special. So yeah. So I guess this kind of fits because it's one of the first creations I ever uploaded to uh, my YouTube account. Just this time around version 4. So yeah. In this mode, it's a lot better than the original. It looks pretty nice. Has the uh, all of the all four of the tail fins. Has the nice wings. The cockpit uh, has a bit of kibble on the bottom, and has exposed head syndrome. Sadly, but I don't mind. I kind of like it still. Whatever. A minifigure with him is. Uh, you can see how big he is. Uh, I guess I mean if you, if you really wanted to, could ride them, but yeah, whatever. Get them off there. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. So now he is a nice uh, F twenty two Raptor jet, I believe, and uh, can swish or whatever. So yeah, I guess uh, on the transformation, one of my favorite parts about this guy because it's so interesting. So you want to begin by pulling down. These wings, and then kind of lifting up the cockpit and rotating it around. So yes, now you're already starting to see a difference between this and the usual tra Starscream transformation because this isn't going to become the chest. So I mean, I really like that. I'm not going to spoil anything else, but yeah. Now you want to come down here to these sections, which I think it's fairly obvious what they are. Rotate them all the way around and put them down. So now you want to uh, come to here and slide these out and pull them out like that. So that you have, listen, I guess that's his robot mode or whatever, yeah, no. I'm not going to do any more stupid jokes like that. At least I'll try. Now, I kind of want to just open these up and rotate those like that. And just kind of do that for now. And then completely bend this section so that uh, you don't pop the head off because uh, I'm a dingus and I do that. And now I'm going to spend like now we're looking forward to I'm gonna jump cut but sorry about that jump cut I just uh, kind of broke his head off and kind of lost it for a couple minutes so now you want to bend his head all the way down so that you've done all that so you have it, everything out of the way so you can completely rotate around this section now you want to Take these wings and back that up so it's a little bit less blurry, sadly. I want to talk about that for a second. This camera, not made up for close-ups or anything, so it gets really blurry when things are close up, like that's just crap and blurry. And sadly, what I do on this channel is all close-ups of things like this. So if you really want to actually see good quality pictures of this, well, 
as good quality as I can get, then uh, visit the TTV message boards where I post pictures of these guys and not videos so you can actually see nice clear in detail like crisp quality pictures and photos of them. So yeah, now you want to pull down those and uh, or pull up them depending on how your perspective is and then fold these all the way up and kind of just fold these in there and then we'll just uh, <clears throat> we're done with that section for now so if you just get these out of the way so that you can rotate this section back flip this section back but now instead of just keeping it flat you want to now completely as far as you can go fold it in <coughs> sorry fold it in so it looks like that you then want to put that there and uh, rotate these wings onto the back kind of like that and push the head up you want to rotate this onto the back then rotate the wing itself on the stud it's attached by then flip that like that and rotate this section so it's like that so it looks kind of like all the techie wing detail on his back and then just repeat that pro process on a uh, process process whatever on this side And then last but not least, you want to slide these arms down. And rotate around the head. Sorry, I just took it off camera. Sorry about that. You have him in robot mode and I really, really like this mode. It just looks good. So yeah. He can like um, lop, 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 lop. but yeah, it, he's a bit hard to get standing because he's just his legs ha because his feet are so small and they don't have very much posability. So instead of like sitting there for hours adjusting his feet, I gave him to stand. So also in airplane mode, he can like dynamically pose. So I like to put him in like flight poses where like he's kind of like. Kind of like this. No, he would usually have two accessories, his buzzsaw and his gun, but those are currently scrapped. So if you want to see him posed with those, you'll have to check the TTV message boards as I said earlier. But yeah, now next time will be the everybody's favorite red and blue guy, certain prime. So yeah, I guess if you want to see my rendition of a Lego Optus Prime, uh, see you next time. Bye.